For this project, you're going to need two lanterns. Now we're gonna start with this hazel lantern. Now this hazel lantern doesn't have any doors, so I need to open the bottom by undoing these screws. Now that I have all the screws off, I can just simply remove this piece. So now I have just the top part, which is what I wanna work with next. Now while I have this all open, I'm just gonna take an alcohol prep pad and clean the glass. Now you can remove the glass out, which we may be needing to do here in another step, but right now I just wanna get the glass clean. Okay, so for one of the things that you're gonna to need to do for this project, if you like, is to go to whatever search engine you want and type in memorial sayings. From here as you scroll down, you'll be able to find lovely sayings, like so. This one says more images, so you can type you can click on that and then as you scroll through here there are tons of sayings that might inspire you for this project for what you're looking for and then next what you're going to go ahead and do is create that image on a word doc or in canva or PicMonkey or whatever platform you like design it however you want for this project and then we'll be printing it out now that i've got my quote all picked out and ready to go i'm going to go ahead and use vellum paper this is like a translucent paper you could also use regular paper if you like but i'm going to show you why i prefer this paper so one thing that can be really helpful when cutting out your quote and knowing what size is to slide out the glass from your lantern and then place it on top of your quote center it up and then I will now take my pencil and trace around so I know exactly where to cut. So now all I do, once I've got that all drawn, is cut out that image off the vellum paper like so. So there are a lot of ways that you can do this next step. This particular lantern happens to have a ledge inside of it that's holding the glass. So I'm gonna utilize that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the glass in just a little bit. Then I'm gonna utilize that same ledge to put the vellum paper in. And I'm gonna slide the two in together till they make it to the top. Some other options include that you could use some double stick tape inside here underneath this black ledge. You could also use some glue dots. You could also just glue it if you want to keep it there forever, but there's a lot of ways to hold this in place. Now, right now it's gonna be droopy because I'm holding it and it wants to, gravity wants to pull it down, but when I put it upright, it will stay into place. But now we're gonna rotate it and move on to the next side. Now, these are pictures of my grandparents that have passed um, you could, I'm using photo prints, but you could easily print these on the vellum paper as well. So it's up to you what order you want to put these in, but I'm just gonna go ahead and slide them in inside the frame. Like so. Now it's up to you if you want to, if you have any gaps in this, which I will not, you could put some vellum paper behind a photo if you do. So. Now I'm gonna turn this again. I've got my vellum paper on this side. So I'm gonna put their 50th anniversary on this side here. I'm gonna slide this one in. So let me get this last photo in and then we'll talk about how to finish this up, which is putting the bottom back in. So we're gonna put the bottom back inside and we're gonna put the screws back in. So I'll go ahead and do that next. So before we light that one up, let's move on to the second one. So this one's a little different because it actually has a door. So it's also got clips in here. So it's gonna take a little more work to measure out your photos and put them in here. So we're gonna start with the same thing where we printed out our little saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by cutting out and as you can see here, the first time I printed, I printed it too big. So it takes a little effort to sometimes get the right size. The great thing is that it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it's going on the inside of the lantern and it's got the red edges on it. So you're tucking it inside of there. So that'll hide if your lines aren't super straight. 
So we're gonna go ahead and bring the lantern back now. Open the lantern up and we're gonna tuck this right inside those clamps. Now I might need to trim it up a little bit, but ultimately I'm gonna get this in there and it's gonna fit nicely inside those clips. Now that that's in, we're gonna focus on the other sides. And for this one, I have the same thing, a picture of my grand other set of grandparents when they got married and celebrations later in life. So we're gonna be incorporating these into this lantern right here. So the big thing to know is how big that glass is and is this photo gonna fit inside or do I need to trim it up? Okay, so I've trimmed these all up and it's time to get them in there. So I'm gonna utilize the clips and there we go. So now I can close this up, lock it up and here's the lantern all the way around with my grandparents inside. And once again, down here, we've got an on off switch and a timer switch. So if I turn it on the timer at 4 p.m., it'll stay running for six hours, turn off, and then the next day at 4 p.m. will turn on again. So absolutely biggest fan of timers that illuminate these lanterns every single night in memory of my grandparents. So let's go light them up and see what they look like. I hope this inspires you to make some memorial lanterns of your own. So on these chargers, which are just plastic, I am going to take and put some photos on them. So I've printed out a couple photos in black and white on just regular copy paper, nothing special here. Now we're gonna cut them down to size to fit on this inner circle here. Now I just happen to have a bowl, I went through my kitchen, and this bowl, if I turn it upside down like this, fits perfectly on this inner circle here. So that's gonna help me trace onto my photo and see how large I need to cut it here. Then I'm just going to cut around or draw a circle around with a pencil. And that's perfect, that cuts out the main part of my photo here. And then I'm just gonna cut it out. So now that I've got one photo cut out, let me show you how to stick it to these chargers. So make sure your charger is nice and clean. And I'm just gonna line up the photo exactly where I want it. So I want it to go kind of right in the center there. Now I am going to use Mod Podge to stick this and seal it. I put a little Mod Podge in a dish here and I've just got a sponge brush and I'm going to use it like glue. So I'm going to add a thin layer of Mod Podge to the base of the charger really thin. When you're working with Mod Podge, you don't need much at all. Then I'm going to apply a thin layer to the back of the photo. 